Mike, how many times have, we, have I been eating on this podcast? Too many. Too many times. Pretty much every time. Do I eat more food than you? Yes. Eat, I'm, I'm smaller. I'm thinner. I'm smaller. I'm shorter. Yes. How is this happening? This is so unfair. Um, how come you're going so fat on such little food and yet I'm eating more, way more than you and yet I'm... I'm more towards society's standards of beauty? Um, You're more towards a Rubens painting? No, well, it's it's generally because of... Um, we have different metabolic rates. Yeah. Surely. So how, I have a much higher metabolic rate. How is that so? Like, I'm hungry all the time. Well, one... Um, I'm younger. You're younger. Yeah. And two, because of your parents you're pretty much predisposed to being a skins a skinniesman. What do you mean predisposed? Well, both your parents are skinny, right? Yeah. So yeah, you're automatically predisposed to being a skinniesman. Yeah, but mum's not always been skinny. Yeah, but my parents have been the opposite. Oh, I see. So yeah. Actually, there's a third theory that um, I've got better gut bacteria than you. And it's your gut bacteria that's causing your um, obesity. Oh, well, well, that, you, you know. Yeah. You know, considering that I have every environmental condition under the sun. Yeah. It's, that's not entirely plausible. No, what do you mean, not entirely plausible? No, no, yeah, it, it, is, it, it is entirely plausible. Uh, entirely plausible, yeah. There's been research done these days that your gut bacteria can determine how fat or thin you are. In fact, it's been done, done on some mice. Um, when the gut bacteria of uh, fat mice w- were, convert- were given to thin mice, the thin mice become fat. And when the gut bacteria of thin mice were given to fat mice, um, the fat mice became thin. Yeah. Which is so, weird. So, welcome to the As Yet Undecided podcast, where we discuss the topics like, huh? With your hosts, Mike and Sophie. What? <laughs> <laughs> So, so talking about gut bacteria, um, it's quite interesting how Mike requested that we did kombucha this episode on overtly rated stuff. Yes. Because kombucha is so full of bacteria that when I bought it, there was a small sign right beside it that said, please keep this refrigerated, otherwise it might become an actual health hazard. So this is the second time that Sophie has been here today. Oh yes, the first time was to actually send the kombucha into the fridge yep. while I went up to work. Yes. Uh, what, can, can you... Can, yeah. yeah. Training. Yeah. A paid training. Yeah, that's a better way to... Yeah, I wouldn't call it work, I would call it paid training. Paid training, anyway. <laughs> so, um, I bought two flavours for us. One of them is apple and the other one I believe is pineapple and ginger. And... That is, that is correct. Pineapple and ginger, cool beans. So we're both going to try out those flavours and um, we'll see if Mike actually ends up losing some weight because it's got good bacteria in it. Like really expensive yoghurt. So this is basically liquid yoghurt. Or as I like to call it. No, 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 no. no. Prebiotic tea. Prebiotic tea. Okay. It's a health hazard. And I cannot believe that a current food fad is a health hazard. Yeah, well, well, if we end up eating food poisoning, Mike, it's not on me, okay? Disclaimer, if we end up eating food poisoning, it's on Pharaoh, not me. <laughs> I tried my best to keep the fat damn thing refrigerated all the time, and it's Pharaoh's fault that they decide to give thing, poisonous things to the customer. Thank you. So this thing is already predisposed to, hey, I might as well have the cut because you're going to have the bottle afterwards. You're keeping the, you're keeping the drinks. Or is the cut dirty? No, 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 no. Half and half. Is it really half and half? Yeah. This is ridiculously small. And why is it bubbly? It's probably because of the fermentation of the prebiotic tea. Oh. What sort of tea is this? Prebiotic tea. Yeah. Serving per package, two. Yeah, yeah, you're having the first one and I'm having the second one. I can sort of taste both of them in there. But, but, but it's not as it, it's not it's not as tasty as your stereotypical tea or soft drink yes. this tastes like a mixture between a soft drink and a tea I can't decide whether I like this or hate this <laughs> hey but at least it wasn't as repulsive as vegan chocolate 
Oh, you, you, you telling me I've been saying that? Hmm? How, how was your week? Yeah, it's all right. Um, before we go with your week, uh, do, you, do you mind if I put down the put down the ingredients of kombucha? Oh, yeah, well, if, if you want to, by all means. Turn, but don't shake. Contain traces amounts of alcohol. Oh, we're getting drunk. No, oh, no. No, we're not supposed to have alcohol in here. I'm very sorry, but um, it's it's very small though. Yeah. Ingredients. I mean, no, no, no. The alcohol level is so tiny that they didn't ask for my ID when I bought this. Ingredients. Purified New Zealand water. Organic sugar. Organic tea blend. Cold pressed pineapple. Not organic. Cold pressed organically grown ginger. Organic kombucha culture. Wait, this is not organic. Mike, believe it or not, this drink is not organic. Really? It contains non organic pineapple. My week's been a lot more hectic than I thought it would be. The training's intense. The paid training's intense. Okay. Yeah. But otherwise, um, I've I've gone on to the latest paper craft project, which is um, a salt bottle from Bioshock Infinite. Yes, and how is that going? It's fiddly. It's fiddly. But that's exactly how it should be. Yeah. It calms it, me down. If things are fiddly, it makes me concentrate and calms me down. So, um, how's your week been? Uh, well, it's been a little bit strange until yesterday. Latest health problem. Yeah, well, you know, decide to be all Henry the Eighth on everybody, which is, which is great. <coughs> Gouty. Gouty. Yeah. So, um, I, I, all the protocols were in place, and how was the week strange? Oh, hey, what? How was the week strange? The week strange. Yeah, you said the week was strange. How was it strange? No, no, I, I mean like the last few days have been strange. How? Why is that? Because of being Henry the Eighth. I see. Anyway, what's your take on this kombucha? It's it, it, it it's overrated nonsense. That's what the section of the podcast is called, overrated it's, nonsense. Yeah. We get overrated nonsense and we bring them in. Yeah. This is yeah, this this is completed this is completely overrated nonsense. To be fair though, the shopkeeper said, said she preferred the other flavour, so do you mind if we break that out too? Yeah, we, we, are, you going, are you going to finish that? No I'm not. You can have it. As you said, it's overrated nonsense. And besides, you need this kombucha more than me. Your, back, your gut bacteria is terrible. Thank you. Oh, I'm just saying, you, it's, you ha, your gut bacteria is a health hazard, therefore this kombucha might help. No, you, no, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so you solved my problems with health hazards. Yes. Great, thanks. Sometimes poison is the best medicine. <laughs> but, <laughs> that, that, that is more... Well, considering that, you know, poison does help. Yes. More, more often than you think. Oh, yes. For example, apparently, apparently oxygen is a poison. You know, you know, and like, like, take for instance, alcohol is technically a toxin. It's a, it's a solution. No, no, yeah. What's this? It is a plain scone. 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 Don't worry, they have the same debate over in England. Oh yeah, one of your mates is, one of your mates is a baker. Yes. So this flavour is Brace Braybird, aka Apple. Yes. It's got orga- pure new, purified New Zealand water, organic sugar, organic tea bread, cold pressed organic apple. Organic kombucha culture, so this one's organic. The other one isn't. It, it, it would be funny when they were doing the ingredients for everything. Yeah. There, there was a, there, you know, for quality control. Yeah. Someone had to make sure that every other word... Is organic. Yeah, is organic. Organic this, organic <laughs> that. Yes, it's, it's like, how, how do you get organic water? <laughs> Purified it, you know? Anyway, this is even more disgusting than the previous one. This tastes like... Fake... Fake cider. Yeah, it is fake cider. Weak cider, I mean. Yeah, we... We can have the rest. So, insane. So overrated. So, I beg the question. Mm -hmm. Because since I... Since I decided on the kombucha, and I clearly failed... Um, you, no, what's the, what's the, what do you want next week? Um, I've already got something for the next podcast, but what do you want for next week? 
Wait. Next time. What? Well, which? Which overrated thing would you like for next time? Wait. 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 Yes. Wait. 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 What? Mm-hmm. What? You had something for the next podcast. I already had. I already bought another thing for the next podcast. <laughs> okay. You choose one. I choose one. Okay. You put. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But I didn't know. If, okay. Fine. Ah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Um, so we already had chocolate, we already had kombucha. Now you choose one, I choose one, and I buy it next week so that we can do it for the next two podcasts. Oh, um, mm. By the way, we're doing. By the way, we are doing two podcasts a week right at this moment because I will be going away to the South Island. Yes, I so, know. Yeah, yeah I, I know that. Mm-hmm. Um, Pain's gone. Can, can we go for a? Organic muesli bar of some kind. Not chocolate. Oh, I believe we can. Yeah. I'm just wondering which. Um. Yeah, I wonder. I'm just wondering which aisle that would be in. Yeah, something like 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 with with sunflower seeds and some, like um, acai berries or or. Gochi berries. Peanuts. No peanuts. Oh, no nuts. Yeah, no nuts. That might be difficult because they do have muesli bars, but finding muesli, organic muesli bar without nuts? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence the reason I'm like, I was a bit hesitant saying it. If there's one, if I can't find one without any nuts, I'll just get plain muesli, like the, like cereal. Yeah. Organic cereal. Um, so if I can't get muesli, organic muesli bars, I will get try and get organic cereal. Because, you know, because or, or, organic bread's a little bit boring. Oh, yeah, we know that. Yeah, so I'm like, concerned, oh, can I get back to you on that? Oh, next, next, next week? Okay. Yeah, 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 because, like, I, I'm assuming because it is an organic site. Yeah? That, that that Pharaohs has their own website. Pharaohs have their own website, yes. Yeah. So I will look on the Pharaohs website Mm -hmm. and just to surprise the people on the podcast, we'll find out next week. Yeah, sure. So are you excited to go back to back down south? Yeah, actually. I love the South Island. And especially, you know, um, Queen sounds beautiful, but I think it's a little bit too touristy these days. Oh yeah. Um. Uh. Where where my family tend to go is Te Ana. Oh yeah. Good fishing there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't worry. I've seen photos. Mhm. Mhm. Pretty. Yes. Um. I'm staying here for Christmas at this stage. Oh. Not sure. Not exactly sure where I'm going. Mhm. I might be staying at hostel or going to Avondale. Why Avondale? Um, cousin is there. Oh, yeah? How about your Half Moon Bay uncle? What's he doing? <laughs> well, he, well, who knows? Who knows? Of course, he can always go to Western Springs for Christmas. No, you know, he, he may be in, um, Sh- Yeah. Alright. So, um, yeah, uh, at least my family situation is a bit better. Um, Grandma and Grandpa love Dad. Even though he's like the only white person they've he, they've ever met. Well, well, that that may change if I decide to go to China for some weird reason. Why? Because I'm, 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 I'm am I whiter than Dad? No. Oh damn it! You're part Maori. That doesn't. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but you know, on a skin color standpoint, you're still a little bit darker than Dad. Damn it. Just by tiny, tiny bit. Damn it! I want my preference level to go up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you want to meet her grandparents? No. Thought not. No, but I, I just want that privileged white level. Yeah. As high as possible so I can win lotto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with the new trousers anyway? Um, it was laundry day. Yeah. So it was just like... I've never seen those shorts before, that's all I'm saying. Only because of one reason. Why? You don't like me wearing white clothes. Why? Because it, it affects my body shape. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you might get away with that soon, um, if you're losing weight. Mm. Yeah, I think you are. Yeah. So it was just like, yeah. So, now back to the kombucha. Which flavour do you prefer the most? None. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can either have um, a parody of a soft drink or weak as cider. Weak as vinegar, I mean. Weak as white vinegar or... Can I just have a parody? Parody soft drink. Okay, <laughs> no, parody soft no, drink. no, no, no. Can I just have a parody? Yeah. I don't want a parody soft drink. I would rather have... The sparkling water came out of the tap at the art gallery than that. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, the kombucha <laughs> just basically tastes like parodies or something. Yeah. It's terrible. Anyway, um, you know, last time we were supposed to do this, like a pun cast. It's something we've always wanted to do. Yes. And it's like we've just kept on fading because we kept on talking about other things and da di da di da So Mike, if you've known us, if you know by now, we love making puns. We are the most dad jokey of jokes. Jokesters, and yes, we're not dad. Well, you are not a dad, are you? No, no. Are you sure? Well, <laughs> me and my um, my cousin-in-law. Yeah. We'll call it that because they're getting married next month. Yeah, which cousin? Which which cousin-in-law are we talking about here? The one that dropped me off for surgery. She's getting married next month. Oh, yeah. Oh, is she going to be married into your family? I thought she was your family. No, 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 no. The guy. The guy is a part of your... Oh, the guy who's going to be your cousin-in-law. Yes. Your cousin-in-law, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, we were talking about our um, encounters. Exploits. Exploits, okay. We can yeah. Call it that. And he, he asked the question, have you accounted... Yeah, is there a possibility that you have a child? Yes. Right. Right. Always important question for men. Always, a, always an important question. Yes. For women, it's rather obvious. Clearly. Yeah. You, you know, if you have a uterus, it's rather obvious whether you actually have a kid or not. Even if you're trans, if you're like a transgender man and you still have a functioning uterus, you kind of know when you're going to have a kid. Yeah, because you know, you know, it's a nine-month thing. It's a nine month thing, and um, your body shape gets kind of out of whack. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I, I have, it for my exploits. Yeah. I have accounted for everyone. Yes, apart from one. Apart from one. And she has not contacted you yet. No, like, I have no idea where she is. Oh, she'll try and find you. You'll know sooner or later if, you go, if you're a father. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, but this happened... 10 years ago. Yeah. So more than likely, I would have already been told. Yes. Or your kid's very old and does not know who. Yeah. So more than likely. Yes. It, it, even though it is a possibility, it is a non-zero possibility. Yeah. We'll call it that. Not likely though. Yeah. Like 0.1%. Hence there is a non-zero. Yeah. How about your cousin-in-law? Does he have any potential um, love children? Well, he has already had three. Oh, right. Yeah. He's popping out kids everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Mind you, the three is, the three is only with the, your aunt, right? With the cousin. With the cousin, yeah. 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 Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Eight, seven, uh, no, wait. Nine, nine, seven, and five. Nine, seven, and five, yeah. Oh, wait. Nine, six, five, yeah. Nine, nine six, five. Nine, yeah. six, five. Yeah, old enough to remember the wedding. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So when are they getting married again? Next year? Next month. Next month. Anyway, why, back to puns. Why do you think we like making puns to the detriment of others when they say, oh! be, be, pre, be. It's just like saying a joke. Yeah. Right? Because you want a reaction from somebody. Yeah. Right? Right. So, yeah, as soon as you get a reaction, yes. that's it. Success. Yeah. Success is mine because I got a reaction from somebody. I got a rise out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's just like with debating. We, we like when you say a point. Yes. And they go like, Ugh. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what puns in particular for us? Because we could say any type of joke. Yeah, but it's, e it's easier, right, to incorporate it into a conversation. Yeah, and. Because of the way that jokes are, yeah, um, because you want the maximum, you want the maximum amount of reaction from somebody, yeah, right. So either it'll be long-winded, yes, which will get the person bored, yeah, and we don't want that, no, 
or else it could be explicit in any way, and instead of laughter, they are offended. You get a slap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, yeah. It's just like, you know, if, if you put in a sexual harassment joke around about now, you will be slapped. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, you might as well put in puns or dad jokes. Yeah. Because it's simple. You're going to get a simple reaction. Yeah. And it's not going to hurt you in any way. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hmm. So, was your father a good dad joker? Not really. No? He wasn't really much of a jokey person. How did you get your dad joke bone? Uh, because I went to school not just to eat my lunch. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, I got my dad jokeness from dad. Yeah. I mean, between you two, you seem to have more than enough dad jokes to last a lifetime. Well, <laughs> we're at the moment, yeah. Yeah. At the moment, yeah. Hey, I mean, haven't you heard YouTube spanter about something? Like, you just add up the jokes and... Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. joke... Between you and Dad, some of the jokes escalate. Yeah. Yeah. Just the way that it is. Yes. <laughs> now, we have, I, I have to ask a question here. Yes. Um, someone posed the question, mm. what would happen if there were eight days in the week instead of seven? Our we need to change the formatting of the calendar, but otherwise I don't see what else could happen. Maybe maybe our concept of Sunday and Friday would be screwed up. So like there'd be like 40, 46 weeks yeah. in a year. Yeah. Um, and then I, 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 I thought about this and decided that the other day mm. will be called Equira Day. Why? Because each of the days are named after a planet. Sunday? Named after Sun? Saturn. Oh, yeah. Sunday is named after the Sun. Um, all the days are not necessarily named after planets, but also um, Norse gods, too. Well, yeah, 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 well, but, you know, with the Norse gods, they are allocated to a planet. So Thor? For, oh, well, you know, we have Uranus, so... But sorry, but Thursday is not called Uranus Day, it's called Thur Thor's Thursday. Yeah, I, I know, but, you know, Thor's Day is named after, isn't named after Uranus. It's named after Thor, and Thor... Date. That means it still means that those named days of the week are not named after planets necessarily. Yeah, but you know, Thor would be the god of thunder, fear of thunder, oh, yeah, lightning yeah. and the thunder. Oh yeah, but technically that's Earth. What Thor? Yeah. Okay. But how come Thursday is not called Earth Day then? I don't know. So therefore, your theory that all the days of the week are named after planets are just wrong. No, they're right. I need a better explanation than this. Okay, you need a better explanation? Fine. Yeah. Give me a minute. So Friday is Frigg's Day. Monday left me broken. Tuesday I was yeah. through with hoping. Yeah. Wednesday my empty heart. I think I need to stop singing it. My throat's too dry. Yes. I was hoping the conductor would taste better so I can actually drink it, but no, it doesn't. I mean, Mike, how long is it going to take for you? Okay. Uh, what's that song, the the girl from Ipanaya or something, rather? Uh, what's it? Oh, yeah, just play that, you know? It's it's lift music. Just play some jazzy as lift music. Um, uh, what's it? Okay, uh, here we go. Sunday, sun. Uh, what? Mike, can we, can we see? Yeah. So let's see. Scroll side, yeah. It's a sideways. See irregularities. Um, no, no, no. Oh, the, the days are, <clears throat> the days are 
connected to some sort of planet, but they're, but they're not necessarily named after a planet. Mm. So Sunday is dedicated to Sol or Helios, aka the Sun. Monday is dedicated to the Moon, Luna or Selene. Tuesday is dedicated to Mars or Aries. Uh, Wednesday, Mercury or uh, Mercury. Thursday is dedicated to Jupiter. Friday is dedicated to Venus. Saturday is dedicated dedicated to Saturn. Okay. So if you so if you uh, let's see go to the the romance languages, then you will indeed have days of the week named after the planets. Yeah. But if you go to the Celtic language, okay, so Celtic languages, that's all right. Germanic tradition, da di da di da. But for some odd reason, um, uh, English leans more towards Norse, you know? Like Thor's Day, Frigg Days, Friday, Frigg's Day, you know? Which yeah. is weird. Yeah, but, you know, if it was named after the planets, yeah, that's my take on it, being called Equa Day. So what's Equa named after? Aquarius is the um, Greek god of something, and it's allocated to Uranus. The ocean? Yeah. Okay. Equity. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay, so the seven-day tradition is broken. The Christians are going to be pissed. Well, because my, most Christians are pissed anyway. Let's piss off. Let's make them even more pissed. No, yeah, 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 just give them a bunch of alcohol and they'll be fine. Yeah. Just give, just give them some bread and some wine they'll be fine. So here's how it could work. Monday's a work day, Tuesday's an off, Tuesday's an off day, Wednesday's a work day, Thursday's an, Thursday's an off day, and so on and so forth. No, 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 no. no. More th- yeah, because of our capitalist society, it'll be yeah. turned from a 5-2 week to a 6-2 week. Oh, really? More than likely. Oh, no. Yeah. I thought a 5-3 week would be better for the economy, but <laughs> not a lot of people think no. that way. Not many people think that way. It'd be nice. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it'd be nice. Yeah, it's nice to have a holiday in between the week, week, work week, let me tell you that. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes working is just too intense, you just need to break in between. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a 3 1 3 1. Yeah. That could work. Yeah. 3 1, th- so that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, break. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, break. But surely, um, why do we? Why did we choose um seven days of the week? Because surely, some somebody dreamt up that. What gave people the idea that God created heaven and earth in six days? I mean, um, how would they know? Yeah. Um, because first things first, that's not how the planets were created. No. It took way more than just a day to create something. Well. Well, if you take the whole Bible thing out, yeah, all right, and if you let's take religion out of this, how how do, why do people think that a standard week is seven? Well, because of um, lunar calendars. The moon, okay. Also, I've read in there that um, there were seven visible planets. I mean, planetary bodies, as in the sun, the moon, and five other planets. Well, that could also be a. Uh, because of me and my, you know, mathematician, right? Yeah. If, if the lunar was was 28 days. Yeah. If you factorise 28, what do you get? 4 by 7, 2 by 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like 2 times 2 times 7. Yeah. So I would use, it would either be a 4 day week. Yeah. Or it would be a 7 day week. Or 14 day week. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. So I think it's based off the moon. Yeah. That could make sense. But because, you well, you know, considering that the lack of technology that they had. Yeah. Back then. Just make sure your theory does not get too loony. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. It is, you know, the whole calculation of the Gorgarian calendar is a bit loopy. Yeah. Especially when you have to add in leap years. 
Yeah, um, what's, what do you prefer, the Julian <coughs> or the... Which one do you prefer, the Julian or the Gorgirian calendar? I, I, I would always go back to Gorgirian. Yeah. Because it's like... Um, yeah, it's like one... Yeah, like... The offshoot, the, the, like the, the era, yeah. is so minutely small. How about, I thought it was an even more accurate calendar de- developed by the um, Middle Easterns, the Arabic mathematicians. There was, there was another one that wasn't just based off the sun anymore, but more like the movement of the stars. And that was freakishly accurate. Yeah. Even more accurate than the Gorgirian calendar. But hey, it's just sometimes popularity. And Christianity. I mean, Christianity has an odd, ha- odd habit of absorbing everything. Yes. Assimilating everything. Yeah. Yeah. Absorbing like a sponge, sometimes. Yeah. That's, I think that's the power of white people. They just seem to absorb everything and assimilate the everything. The power of white people. I think that's why they were successful so far, because they just seem to, you know, absorb everything and make everything into their own. But, um, you know, that power does have its limits, and it's, I think it's reaching saturation point right at this moment. Yeah. Yeah. White people absorbed the light. Yeah. Are you sure they're not black on the inside? They might be, because they absorbed a lot of black culture. Yep. <laughs> see? See? Th- th- this is us trying to make meta pun jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that remind. You know, some of this white culture reminds me of that um, Doctor Who monster in which he eats everything and then he absorbs everything that he eats. So that whenever he eats a human, you actually get to see human human face on the, his belly. Now, I have to ask because yeah? the, there is another character that does exactly the same thing. Yeah. And I beg the question, when was that character, when did that character start? That character? Oh. Mm. The my character, the one I was talking about? Yeah, the one you're talking about. I have no idea, but all I know, all I know is that it's from the David Tennant era. Okay, so yeah, because... And that's quite a long time. I know, but considering the, there is an anime yeah. that I watch every week called Dragon Ball, and in part of the Z arc, Z, Z arc, Z, back in like when it was created, like that, you know, the character that I'm talking about, mm. his name is Boo. Mm. He was the last episode on the Z arc, mm. and he could absorb everybody. He turned everyone into food. Mm. He ate it and absorbed their powers. The Doctor Who monster just eats other people and absorbs their knowledge. Yeah, yeah, knowledge, power. Greed. Women. Women. (laughs) (laughs) Wealth, money. Yeah. Okay, so do they still produce Dragon Ball Z cartoons? Um, it's it's not part of the Z arc anymore. It's part of the, it's now turned into a super arc, but the super arc is within the the Z universe. Oh my goodness, that's confusing. It's confusing, but it's actually really good. Mm. Universal, um, yeah, Universal tournament, which is great. Can you talk? Can you tell me why Dragon Ball Dragon Balls exist and what the Dragon Balls do? It's been such a long time since I last watched it. Um, seven balls. Yeah. Located on a planet with a person that can create those balls. Yeah. And you can make up to three wishes on the balls. So seven balls, twenty-one wishes. No, no. When you collect all seven. Yeah. And the dragon appears. Yeah. You can make up to three wishes. Why do you need all th- seven balls to get <coughs> some of the dragon? That's weird. Could did you just cast a spell or something? Nope. Wow. Nope. And like when the person who creates the balls dies, yeah, the balls are gone. And can then another person create the balls? Of a particular of that particular race or whatever, if they if they have the power to do it, yeah, then they can. So, why is the dragon so finicky? Like, why do you have to collect all seven of its balls and... No, because you have to put them within a certain radius of, of, of each other. Yeah? And they're all scattered throughout the particular entity. And how's the... it? And how does the dragon know whose wishes to grant? Well, well, 
they, they are granted any wish. Now, but, how does the how does the dragon knows whose wishes to grant? Well, well, in the oh, this is anime logic. Why am I grilling you on yeah, anime logic? Yeah, exactly. This is this is, yeah. this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it, it's purely based on who gets yeah, yeah, who gets the wish. Oh yeah. So what's Dragon Ball about? Is there that people trying? Why are there so many powerful people? Like why are there so many muscular? Boys trying to fight each other in tournaments when the whole show is about a damn drag, a damn wish granting dragon. Well, it's the majority of the time, well, especially in this arc. Yeah? Why it, are they fighting so often? It is, it is because that they want the power to have the wish to be granted on. Ah, oh, so they're fighting over the balls. They're fighting over the balls. But, but in this one, we're not talking about planetary. Dragon Balls. Yeah. We're talking about multi-universe balls now. Wow. That are as, that are as huge as moons. And how come all the characters in there in the cartoon are really muscular, even the old man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking about Roshi now. Yeah. <laughs> old pervy Yoshi. Yeah. Oh, golly. Um, Everyone's huge and they have... Yeah, like, I mean, honestly, the, the hair's so infamous, they call it Goku hair. Yeah, yeah. Why, why do they have, like, gigantic spiky hair? How come everyone's so muscular? Even, like, the five-year-old boy's, like, super muscular. Because they, because, because they have the right amount of key to, oh. to control everything. Oh, so, key? Yeah. Power? Power. So they have enough power to give them, um five-year-old boys the muscles of a bodybuilder yeah ha. yeah why i don't know anime logic anime logic yeah same logic that turns umamu into a small pre-producent girl that no one can recognize oh and, and and talking about the update yeah she's actually progressing she's learning what i know it's strange umamu the hamster yeah. So the she's no longer a toddler anymore. She's a no. She's still a toddler. Yeah. But she is she she is learning from her mistakes, which is sort of strange. Wow. Okay. Like what sort of mistakes? Um, like her friends, that, like are, are noticing that it's her inside the hamster. Oh, so they're starting to figure out the masquerade. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, oh no indeed. So what happens if another person puts on the hamster cloak? We don't know. Well, yeah, it's it's not really the hamster cloak that changes it. Yeah. But it's more of she acts like a child every time she gets home. Wow. The brother must be pissed. Oh yeah. Yes, he's like, ah, I don't have to look after her, I have to look after myself as well. I was like, Ugh. I'm not ready to become a parent and here I here we have this my sports bratty little sister. Yep. Where's her parents? Do we ever get to meet the parents? We well, consider that we. I I, I believe that the parents may be gone. Dead. Yep. What? It is implied. The parents are dead, and the bro- That's why the brother's looking after his little sister. Yep. Does Amaru know her parents are dead? Probably not. She was probably too young. And the brother's like, oh my god, I've got the, I've got the re- grief of my parents, my bratty younger sister. Yeah. And if I work to, so I could, and I have to go to work so I could feed him and her, me and her. Yeah. And I was like, oh my goodness, the, the brother's backstory would be tragic. Yeah. Yeah. So do they get outside support or nah? Well, not at the moment. The, oh the, my god. Such a, it's such a dark turn for such a lighthearted comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, cause, cause the more you read into it, the darker it becomes. Yeah, and maybe Umaru is like a little toddler because her parents weren't there to raise her, so she's forever stuck in the childish age because there's no one to raise raise her. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, gets real dark, eh? Yeah. And behind it all, it's just a comedy? Yeah. Wow. Do you ever get those things like you just you think that something's really cheery and then suddenly when you read into lyrics you you realize how dark the damn thing is? It, well, yeah, um, like um, have you ever seen the well the 
the, 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 the director that's in the current spotlight at the moment, have you seen the Taika Waititi film Boy? No. That is very dark. It, it, it's it, dark. It's darkly comedic, right? So you, yeah. so you have a cheery ass boy who thinks his life is great, but actually it, it just isn't. Yeah, mother's dead, father went to jail. Yeah. And the, now the father's release and going back into his life. Yeah. Yeah. Not because of the kid, because the reason why he was convicted, he wants to get the money back. From who? No, because like the reason why he was in jail yeah? was because he did a burglary of a bank, took the money and buried it. Oh, wow. Now he's released. He's going back to get the money. Okay. Another another cheery thing that actually turns out rather dark is um, my favourite song, Kids by MGMT. Yes. Yeah. As well as, um, this is not really my favourite song, but this whenever this song plays, it always reminds me of you. Um, I'll Follow You Into the Dark by... Death Cab for Cutie. I have no idea what that song is, but it's okay. Well, well no, I told you, I kept on telling you to play it. But we will link to it in the podcast. Yeah. Because it's like a cheery campfire song about mutual suicide. <laughs> and on that note, we'll end it there. Yeah, how long has it been? I don't know. 40 minutes. So, this has been the As You Undecided podcast with a fake, with a fake parody of drinks, with a parody of drinks. As well as the non-parodic version of Mike and Sophie, who are surprisingly sane right at this moment, considering that the, that we've been disappointed twice in a row by um, over overpriced uh, and overhyped health products. Yes, and you can contact us on the you can contact me on the Manus. That is spelled T H E M A R N U S. R R. That's the one that you forgot. Oh goodness. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's also correct. And the Manus exists, but Manus? No, d- apparently, d- no, it doesn't. You can contact Sophie on Sophie9709. Yep. At, or, at, or on the podcast at AYU Podcast. Yeah. Or you can email us at, at AYU Podcast. No, as the underside of podcast <laughs> at gmail.com. You're having a lovely day, and we mm-hmm. wish you one as well. Yeah. <laughs>